Back in my room. Well, not my room. My tomb. My tomb. I'm back in my tomb. At the Wood Street Commons. This roach infested bed bug infested room. The only medication and medical treatment of the day. I got offered. Was a Haldol. At first the FBS EMTs. EMTs and uh, medical staff, the FBI nurses and uh, killer doctors, first tried to tell me my eyes weren't my eyes weren't twitching and moving uncontrollably. Um, then I started making my videos and sending them to the press. Then the FBI killer Matthew Val Valkler, and I'm going to be sending my discharge papers with this link. And I have a bunch of videos I uploaded when they kicked me out the hospital. Then I was forced to go back to UPMC Presbyterian. Oh, the first time I went in there, the FBI had one of their uh, Indian federal agents talking about, oh, yeah, you're the guy who urinates the most in the United States of America. He said, yes, I've seen your videos. We're going to get you to a urologist and we're discharging you. Didn't do x-rays on my neck. My head. Uh, but put me in a coronavirus room. I was having difficulty breathing. I had a hard time catching my breath. Um, I saw the medical treatment I got the first time. Then I was threatened by FBI security. They all, 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 all the FBI staff was in there lying on me, talking about I was putting them on YouTube. I snapped and I said, "Show me a fucking video." Every time I walk in here, y'all just run co and tell pro for the FBI and lie. They all got silent. I requested the Pittsburgh police there because I know what's happened to me is murder. Of course, they never showed up because I'm a nigger. Then every time I call 911, and I want to state this, the FBI has took my 911 calls off my cell phone, my log. So you people won't know how many times I have to call them because I was screenshotted and sent it to the press. Every time I call 911, the FBI has their dispatchers. Just like when I call Amazon customer service and Walmart, my call is going right to the FBI switchboard. And I got 911 operators pretending to be... Uh, I mean, FBI agents are pretending to be 911 operators. And every time I get to talking about my medical emergencies and what's happened to me, they always cut me off mid-sentence. All the time. I want you people to listen to my 911 calls if I don't make it through this, which is a, a very high probability. Um... I had to call the ambulance repeatedly and was repeatedly hung up on by the FBI's undercover federal agents pretending to be 911 operators. I was hung up on. I guess the FBI has them hanging up on me because I, I, I often hang up on people, mainly the FBI's federal agents. When I call these, when I call companies customer service and they keep saying FBI frame codes to me, I usually hang up abruptly. So the FBI has made me hanging up part of their murder and frame operation. I called the ambulance. I was forced to go back to UPMC Presbyterian where I knew I was going to get no medical treatment. The FBI's EMT said she didn't see my eyeballs twitching. I said, okay, let me move closer. Then she said, oh, you know, you, you, let me step back. You got COVID. This is going to be the FBI's murder cover. I had COVID. No, I injured my neck. On this bed, because it's too, it's too springy, springy, and I sleep on my stomach, and I, and I, I think I severely pinched the nerve. There's some type of nerve damage. This is causing my headaches, my neck pain, my tingling in my fingers, my uncontrollable eye movement and twitching. But the FBI will say I had COVID. I promise you that. I, I am positive of this. They're going to say I had coronavirus. 
If my name ain't the one Sean Bulls, if I die, because the FBI did not be medical treatment, they're going to say I had coronavirus. And if I ever go in cardiac arrest at these hospitals, because my kidneys are failing, I got too much potassium or sodium in my body, because of this, I have no chance of being resuscitated at any of the FBI's hospitals. They sat there and listened to me struggle to breathe for almost an hour. Then the FBI had one of their Indians, straight Indian accent, but then he said he was—he said he's from Guatemala. I, n I don't know anybody from Guatemala. Never been there. Never wanted to be there. Have no associations with Guatemala. S he was supposed to be the head doctor. Told me that. You're the man who urinates the most out of the United States of America and don't get medical treatment. I say, yeah, is that me? Oh, we're going to get you to a urologist, urologist and we're discharging you. That was the only medical treatment I got. That was the only medical treatment I got. Well, lack of medical treatment. Then I was kicked out the hospital and threatened because they don't want me documenting my murder and, and putting myself on selfie camera exposing the FBI's how they're mistreating me and how I'm not getting any medical treatment. Then all the FBI staff, oh, he's putting us on YouTube. Show me a video. All lies. Like I said, I called, requested the ambulance. I kept on getting hung up by 911. The FBI's took my 911 call logs off my cell phone because it's rigged, hacked, hijacked, and tapped. And I was forced to go back to UPMC Presby. When I first got there, the FBI's killer, Matthew Valor, and I'm going to put the discharge papers on this link, told me my eyeballs wasn't twitching. I made a YouTube video. Then I backed it up with a uh, Google Photo uh, album link so people can save it, see my eyeballs twitching. He came back in my room and said, do you want medication for your eyeballs? I said, for nerve damage? He said, yeah, we'll give you Haldol. That'll help your urinations. And, and the twitching in your eyeballs. I said, how though? No. I don't think so. Then he left the room. Then you hear on my discharge papers. I mean, here on my video, the FBI nurse talking about, here you go, dear. I didn't even take the pictures. I just took pictures of it. And, uh, because I want people to see what happened to me. I'm probably going to be back in the emergency room tonight. If I would have tried to get an ambulance from U UPMC Presby, they would have just took forever, then made me go back there, and they would discharge me again. So I had no no choice but to come back to this room. Just pray for me, please. I'm going to fight every step of the way to the casket.